हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट The first autologous renal transplant was done by Hardy in 1983. Hardy is the first doctor to have done the first renal auto transplantation. Then, in renal transplantation, renal the most of the organs used from for transplantation are mainly obtained from brain dead patients or heart beating diseased donors. and in majority of the cases the major organs are procured so so we see these we obtain the organs from a brain dead donor or from heart beating diseased donors and in india for organ harvesting from the brain dead patients the relatives have to give you the uh, give the consent so relatives are formally asked to sign a prescribed form so relatives are given the prescribed form whereas in united kingdom the transplant coordinators and nurses these transplant coordinators and nurses they will write and sign in the file after the consent is given so this is the difference but anyways this is not important after removal of the donor So, so first we will opt, uh, first we will obtain the brain dead patient and from them we will remove the kidney okay by surgery once the kidney is removed from the donor then this kidney is flushed with a preservative solution chilled organ preservative solution and this chilled organ preservative solution is stored on the ice it is stored briefly on the ice until transplanted into the patient until the ice is transplanted into the patient it is put on the ice then then here and then it is transplanted to the patient second after transplantation to the patient there is increased chances of immunos uh, rejection graft rejection can occur so to prevent the graft rejection we use calcineurin blockers are especially useful in renal transplant patients in order to prevent the graft rejection so these transplant these calcineurin blockers like cyclosporin and tacrolimus are used why do you use them these are used to prevent graft rejection Thank you and thank you for watching.